At 634, Seven Problem Solvers is working for you and your consumer issues. A Niagara Falls woman hired a contractor last month for new fencing in her backyard. She paid $3,000 up front in cash, but there's still no fence. Seven Problem Solver Michael Schwartz went looking for answers, talking to both the parties involved here. It's peaceful in Kathy Ald's backyard, but you may notice she's missing a fence on two sides. All tells me in mid-May she hired Henry Tree Removal and Fence Installation after she got their flyer in her mailbox. They started working and I said, well, wait a minute, we haven't even done a contract yet. She signed this contract on May 22nd to replace the fence that was here with a chain-linked fence and also move the chain fence that was at the back of her yard closer to her home. The total? $4,500. All says she gave the contractor, Jim Wilson, $3,000 cash up front, and a few days later, both fences were removed. But she says after that, she heard from him less and less. He asked me for $3,000 for supplies. I do not have one piece of supply on my property to this day. Wilson confirmed to me that he was paid the $3,000, which is more than 65% of the $4,500 total. He refused to do an interview, but when I questioned him about what happened to the $3,000, he didn't specify, but told me all refused to pay him to remove parts of the old fence and then fired him. All denied firing him. Wilson told me that before he would do any more work, he would want the remaining $1,500 in his hand or, quote, I'll take them to court. He then hung up on me. This has really broke my heart to think that Someone can go home and lay their head down after taking $3,000 from somebody and not doing anything. Things got so heated at one point in the last few weeks that All's brother stepped in to intervene. According to a report from the Niagara County Sheriff's Office, Wilson threatened to bust out windows at the homes of both All and her brother. All tells me she asked Wilson for her money back but has not gotten a response. She tells me that she wished she did more research through the Better Business Bureau. I checked the BBB's website and there is no record of Henry tree removal and fence installation. BBB of Upstate New York reminds you to split your payments to contractors into thirds before in the middle and after the job once it is to your liking and to avoid cash payments. For seven problem solvers, I'm Michael Schwartz. Good information, Michael. Thank you. Now, if you have a problem that you need some help with, let Michael find you some answers. Email him at 7problemsolvers at wkbw.com.